until a few years ago, hardly anyone had even heard of the Peaky Blinders, a criminal gang operating in Birmingham from the early 1890s until around 1930. Now, though, they're known the world over, thanks to a BAFTA award-winning TV show. It is, of course, a drama series, but how close is it to reality? Carl Chin is a Birmingham historian and the author of the book The Real Peaky Blinders. He also runs Peaky Blinders Tours. With Carl's help, we're going to take a closer look at life here in Birmingham at the time of the Peaky Blinders in a series of videos by Ember Television. Whether you're a fan of the series or not, you're going to find it fascinating. I'm in love with history because of family stories. My mum's family are from Aston, dad's family are from Sparkbrook, inner city Birmingham areas. Both families were robustuous and both of them told stories. It was through their stories that I was drawn into researching the history of Birmingham and later on into the Peaky Blinders, the gangs of Backstreet Birmingham. And that's how I found out that my great grandfather, Edward Derrick, was actually a Peaky Blinder. Peaky Tours highlight two aspects of Birmingham's hidden history. First of all, the backstreet gangs made up of petty criminals and thugs. The second thing that Peaky Tours highlights is the gang leaders who went to war in 1921 on the racecourses of Southern England. The gang leaders included Billy Kimber, Darby Sabini and Alfie Solomon. And it all starts here, in the Old Crown, Birmingham's oldest pub in the heart of Old Birmingham. 